it's freedom to post wherever you want about whoever you want. It's called the After School app, and it's billed as a place where teens can anonymously post their thoughts and confessions to be viewed by students in their school only. And these are high schoolers. Yeah. But those thoughts are not always so innocent. Last year, an unidentified student at Donegal High School out near Lancaster allegedly posted that he would be, quote, shooting up the school. After police found him, that student told them he was just curious about the response it would get. I go to AG and I clicked our Galton. I enlisted the help of 17-year-old Mason Motes to take me inside the app. If I don't like you, I'm going to post this. And when you confront me about it, I can say, it's not me because it's anonymous. Just look at how many local students we found logged on at one time. Brashear had 389 and Montour 266. And their parents and teachers are all blocked from seeing the content because users have to verify their school through Facebook. Right here, someone helped me try to get Michael to notice me. I have to admit, it's not all bad stuff. But then Mason turns off four filters labeled sexual, drugs, profanity, and gross. That's when the app got R-rated. Whoa! The app claims you can't access those filters unless you scan your driver's license to prove you're 17. But Mason showed me how to cheat the system on my phone using his license. And it let me in. I pressed the app maker to address this apparent loophole, but they would only say they take, quote, the safety and security of our users very seriously. In certain respects, it has made our jobs more difficult. There's I also ran the app past Penn Township Police Chief John Otto. He told me law enforcement can always crack the anonymous feature, but he's more concerned with the emotional toll this app can take. Back 20, 25 years ago, you could get off the bus and your bullying for the day would end. Now with Facebook and Twitter and these type of social media sites, it's just continuous. It never ends. In Pittsburgh, Catherine Amenta, Channel 11 News.